Yes, I'm Susan. <laughs> I'm Sandra. Welcome to Beaver Talk, also known as Leave It to Beavers. Yes. And all sorts of other names, but uh, <laughs> we won't get into that. One. <laughs> so our topic today is, mm-hmm. it's time to go Brazilian when your pubic hair turns gray. Yes. Now I know it's a Who'd long title. <laughs> I know it's a long title. Uh, but it's hard enough getting older without having the premature uh, gray hair to go with it, right? Yes. Every so often, it's just one that glitters in the sunlight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where'd that little fucker come from? Right? <laughs> um, but we're not talking just about the hair on your head. We're talking no. about the hair Nether region. below the belly button. Down, and we're talking down. men and women here. Mm-hmm. So just try to find a hairstylist that will dye your pubic hair for you. Okay? My, my last hairstylist was a, a gay guy. <laughs> And I said to him, you know, I'm dying this part here. Mm-hmm. I wasn't gray. I just wanted the carpets to match the drapes. <laughs> and he said, so to speak. I said, come on. You know, and he goes, I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> so he was totally not into my little d- wa- dying my beaver. So I just yes. decided I'd try it at home. And then I decided maybe mm-hmm. it's just too much work. Right? Yes. It can be a little dangerous doing it yourself. Yeah. Depending uh, on how, if you're wearing bleach blonde, the peroxide could get into the cracks. <laughs> and make bigger cracks. <laughs> yeah, then you got bleach, bleach burn, vulva. Burn, baby, burn. A bleach vulva, right? <laughs> anyway, no one's uh, that the wiser if you do decide you're going to dye your hair mm-hmm. up and below, uh, because then you look really natural. Put your eyebrows in there. You got the whole nine yards happening. Yes, but can you imagine what the roots look like? <laughs> can you imagine roots on your <laughs> pubic hair? Do you get roots? Well, sure, it grows, doesn't it? Slower, mind you. I don't know. I can't imagine roots on your pubic hair. If, if you've got roots, your hair's too long. You might want to quaff. So what is a Brazilian? Um, that's the the the. Oh, uh, we've got his attention. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Look, his ears peaked up and everything. Um, that's where you have the landing strip, is it not? It says, I've heard two different variations. Mm -hmm. One, I've heard that it's the landing strip is still there. Then I've heard that it's completely gone. Mm -hmm. And I think for the most part, if there's a little bit of a landing strip, I think it still classifies as, as a, uh, as a Brazilian. I think so. But a lot of people go completely all off. Yes. Yeah. And I I can understand that because, you know, you've also got issues where, um, hair carries scent. So if you don't like to be smelly down there, and you're not. <laughs> Isn't I mean, she diplomatic? Well, you know, some people don't like if to shower s- every day. It smells like Charlie the they, tuna. <laughs> chicken of the sea. No, um, <laughs> you might want to get rid of it. <laughs> but it goes for guys too. Yeah, but you know, it, it, the thing is, is that before you set up an appointment to have yourself completely, you, you know, manscaped, cleaned off, wiped out clean, even if you just have the little landing strip, the important part thing is that you may want to watch a video before this is done because. It isn't painless. <laughs> if you watch a video, you'll never have it done. That's but Sandra's yeah, got a point because yes. you do want to know what's at stake. Yeah, or at least talk to somebody who has had it done. That's probably one of the most sensitive parts of your body that there is. Well, you know what? I tried skin. it. I tried to go there, and I, I have not had the entire air strip removed. <laughs> but I did try it, and I cannot imagine. I started passing out when they did the inner thigh. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, again, very very sensitive uh, skin area. So if you're having sex regularly, Mm -hmm. okay, it is very, very wonderful if you can take into account that that area needs to be manicured. Mm -hmm. I don't see why partners couldn't do each other. I don't want to cut somebody's pubic hairs off. You don't love your husband that much? (laughs) Not that much. (laughs) No, I'm not there to cut. Where am I going to do the excess? It's just a body. You've got one too. It's bad enough that you got to pluck out those back hairs, but take off the, the wiener hairs? I don't think so. No, that's somebody else's job. This one's interesting. My, my girlfriends and I were talking the other night, and I said, well, why don't we have a Brazilian party? Mm-hmm. So it, everybody goes, yeah, Brazilian party. Then it, be called, then it got called the bald beaver party. So we had the Brazilian party, the bald beaver party. And, and one of the girls goes, well, you're only, you know, I said, well, how are we going to know if they did it? Are you going to drop your door? She, yeah. I'll, be, I'll sit down by the mailbox slot and, and I'll check to see they can drop their doors. If it's short enough, they can come in. If they if they haven't done, they can't come in. And I said, yeah, or they could bring the before and the after. Mail slot. Yeah. Seriously. That's yeah. too funny. Or if you can bring before and after photos. Before and after, yeah. But you still have to drop the drawers so we know it's yours. 
Okay. Funny. So we are actually talking about doing this Brazilian party. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll let you know when the pictures are up on Facebook. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Cheers. Please let us know what you think. Thank you for everybody who has sent in comments. Mm-hmm. Some of you, not so much. <laughs> Um, but most of you we love and we appreciate it. So thank you very much for listening to Beaver Talk and your continued support. Yes. Take care, everyone. Go Brazilian! Yahoo! <laughs>